Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. Ladies and gentlemen, they are saying this heat wave out in the Midwest will get worse. Now they're already in triple, you know, triple digits. <laughs> you know, 104, 105 degrees. Wow, how much worse can it get? But they are saying it will get far worse than what we're looking at. So we're still going through our heat wave on the East Coast. It's going on in the West Coast. And they said the center of the country, it's coming for you next. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video from NBC News. Scorching summer sun, bringing the heat from coast to coast. It's uh, such a stretch of hot weather that the water is probably the best place to be. At least 23 million in the West under heat alerts. The heat in the Pacific Northwest burning through records. In Portland, Oregon, the temperature Sunday at 112, the hottest ever recorded there, and it could reach 114 today. It's going to be a brutal couple days. All in a region where many are used to rainy, cooler climates and living without air conditioning. Residents have been loading up on some cold drinks, some taking refuge from the 110 plus degree heat inside cooling centers like these, even bringing their pets to recharge in the AC. At the U.S. Olympic trials in Eugene, athletes and officials trying to find a little shade before Sunday's extreme heat forced events to be postponed. Temperatures on the track topping 100 degrees. How brutal is it in this heat to be running this pace? In Seattle, folks flocking to the beach to try and cool down, but temps at the shore also hitting the triple digits. It's warm like this in July, August. Not in June. Usually we've got June gloom, right? <laughs> Forecasters there predicting even more sweltering conditions today. In Idaho, Ironman organizers utilizing cooling areas, misting stations, and chilling towels to keep athletes safe. They're providing so much ice and so many things along the way to help us keep our body temperatures down. And with dangerous drought conditions across the West, officials are on alert for wildfires. On the other side of the country, this morning, New York, Boston, and D.C. are bracing for temperatures in the 90s. As the first days of summer, pack a blistering punch. And with a significant part of the population here living without AC, a lot of people checked into the hotels as of last night, downtown Portland completely sold out. In fact, the hotel we were staying at uh, had issues with the AC. It stopped working. We had to move hotels and there's reports of another major hotel that has shut down for the next few days because the AC just couldn't handle it, Craig. Man, all right, go out to Vegas. Good luck out there, buddy. Jeez, Squad looks good. So you heard they went to 114 degrees today, y'all. <laughs> this is the Northwest. So, you know, I wish I could tell y'all there's an end in sight, but there isn't. They said it's going to get even worse than this. It is hard to believe. You know, they usually don't have some, you know, summers like that. You heard what many of them said, and I knew a few people that lived up in that area. And I have never heard them talk about temperatures reaching 114 and 112 degrees. That is like crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. So Portland on Sunday hit 
112 degrees and today 114 degrees on monday they said they are breaking all kinds of records mm -mm -mm. and canada set a national record for the highest temperature at 116 degrees now when have we ever heard about canada going up to 116 degrees that is insane what's going on they said it's just one degree shy of las vegas hottest temperature on record hotter than the all-time record highs of 31 states including several in the south so wow air ac is breaking down on them and everything in the hotels wow <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, I did hear early this morning when I woke up that they were setting up cooling sites. They really do. <laughs> they need to do something because that is crazy. And they said a lot of people don't even have AC because the temperatures never go up this high in a place like uh, Washington State. You know, I mean, that's crazy. That's, that's like weather out in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> that's what you're all getting now. That, I mean, it ain't funny if you got to sit and deal with that mess. So uh, about 23 million people remain under a heat alert as temperatures were forecast to soar 30 to 40 degrees above average. For millions, Monday will be the third straight day of record high temperatures. And this is in the Northwest. In fact, a portion of Portland public transportation, including the light rail and streetcar service, was expected to be shut down Monday because of the extreme heat. Now, he can do a lot of damage to infrastructure, too. You know, I know we talk about, you know, with Texas infrastructure in the winter, but Heat can do, especially intense heat like this, it can do a lot of damage to your infrastructure as well. But y'all, please tell me what you think. And those of you that are out in the Midwest, stay cool if you can. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.